Hi friends, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to work on an embroidery project and I'll be using my small labor punch needle. What I love about this needle is that I can adjust the length of the needle so I can achieve different textures and dimensions with my embroidery. I have already prepped this embroidery hoop with Mons cloth. I have a different video where I show you how to do this and I will link that video in the description below. Now I'm going to start stitching on the back side of the embroidery hoop. I have already adjusted the needle to a short length and this is going to give me the small loops that I want for my flowers. I have found that it's easier for me to use a container box to set the embroidery hoop on so I can use the punch needle comfortably. I plan to make a frame that will allow me to work easier, but until then this works fine.
Now that I have completed all of the flowers, I'm going to adjust the needle to a longer length for the center of the flowers. I'm going to cut off the extra yarn on the back so I can work comfortably. There is no need to make knots. The moss cloth will hold the yarn in place. Here is what the flowers looks like. Next, I'm going to work on the stems. To create the stems, I'm going to work on the front side of the embroidery hoop. Usually I cover the entire frame with stitches, but this time I wanted to leave some fabric showing. I really like playing with textures and dimension in my work and I'm very happy with how this came out. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I hope that this video was helpful and inspired you with your own projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos that I upload every week. For more ideas, watch this next video. I really think you guys will like it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.